Winnie McGonnie parkour. Walking in the ghetto, Winnie McGonnie, day in the city edition, random ass shoes, big wads of fives. Send me the crinkle bill for. You know what you do with big wads of fives in the ghetto? You buy nice whips. Oh, what is this? My brand new Mercedes Benz that I bought with $5 bills. We're gonna use this to pick up whores, get some booze. Dalton's gonna get some Lego. Um, it's gonna be a good day. Uh, oh, oh, oh. What the? That's what fucking happens when you live in the ghetto. Free? Free? You try to insult me with trying to give me free shit? Fuck it, I'm gonna steal this shit. That's a dead raccoon. Now that's hardcore. So what's up, Kanye? Nothing. Walking down ghetto ass alleyways, finding sick graffiti, trying to squeeze my ass on these tiny ass stairs. Dalton, D Thang, Davy! Woke me up today at 1 a.m. while I was naked in bed with a girl, about to get my dick wet. That didn't happen. I also did not get to play World of Warcraft this morning, trying to get my PvP gear on. That didn't happen. But you know, I was shooting the web show, having a good fucking day. I'm gonna ask you a few questions. That's perfectly okay. I love questions. All right. What's your opinion on abandoned all ships? First of all, I'm gonna say a nice thing. I'm sure they're pretty nice guys or whatever, but uh, their music's fucking terrible. The only people who really truly listen to them are nine-year-old biddies who want to touch them in their private areas. Their hair looks like they all got fucking stuck in a toaster and electrocuted. That Ange guy, their lead singer, looks like someone sucked a mini version of him out of the bigger version of him and let him walk around without any fucking... They suck. What do you hate about society? I hate sirens. I hate taxi cabs. I hate that people think that I'm a menace. I am, but I hate that people think that I am. Society, I don't really hate anything but society as a whole. I think society is all right. Like I think like we're okay. I hate like certain aspects of people that doesn't really have to do with society at all. I just hate people mostly. I hate when people talk. I hate crying babies. I hate people who walk down the street and stop and you have to stop really fast behind them but you sometimes hit them and then they look at you like you're an idiot. I don't really hate anything about society to be honest. What's your favorite smell? <laughs> My very smell is a fresh pussy and vanilla scented handsome. Would you rather like a old fucking car? car? Car! Come on! Don't tell me to go, I'm shooting a web show. You tell me to go, you're in a car, I'm sitting on some steps. <laughs> Why are you turning around? You're making more noise, you great. Uh, you idiot. Dummy. Jesus Christ, a Toyota RAV4. It's not even a real car, it's like a Hot wheel. Anyways. <laughs> Would you rather like a old man's glory hole or get kicked by an elephant? Ugh. Getting kicked by an elephant would hurt. A lot. Licking an old man's glory hole would taste bad. Cream corn, cauliflower and shit stuck in his ass crack. <sighs> to be honest, I'd probably take the kick in the face by an elephant before I ever licked anyone's fucking glory hole. What's your favorite body part? Favorite body part? It's the easy answer question. In this order, strictly these. You ready? Butts, lips, legs. Done. Next. What's Big Belly Justice? Big Belly Justice is for the fat guys. If you look, fat girls will always get Fat girls will always have someone having sex with them, always. Because some guys like fat chicks. Most girls hate fat dudes. See this? It's not necessarily attractive all the time. I love it. Big Belly Justice is Big Belly dudes walking around running shit. Running shit in video games, running shit in workplaces, running shit in the kitchen, which is most of us, we run our shit in the kitchen. You know, so it's just uh, it's Big Belly Justice, Big Belly dudes uh, winning. Will you gonna name your children? Literally, even if it's boy, girl, 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 boy, boy, I'm gonna name my children Bebop and Rocksteady. Done, answer. That's the Bebop and Rocksteady. If my wife has a problem with it, I'll punch her in the mouth. Are you kidding me? Fucking minivan. Ugh. Come on, asshole. You're losing right now. Losing hard. Have you seen your grandmother naked? Oh, awkward question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Grandma. <laughs> yes, I've seen my grandmother naked. I was 10 or 11 years old. We were at our cottage up in Blind River. 
I had to share a room with her, unfortunately, which sucks because she smells like shit. She snores like an asshole. She was getting out of bed and woke me up like a dick. And I rolled over to say, go back to bed, bitch. I didn't say it to my grandma, I love my grandma. But I was going to roll over and say, what are you doing? And ask her for a glass of water. And I saw her titties hanging out of her nightgown. And they were long and gangly. Her nipples looked like dust bunnies. And it looked like someone had filled a f***ing tube sock with water. And that like, ugh. That's gross. What does people think about you? What do people think about me? I think people think about me that I think of myself as a tough guy and that I think... <sighs> Car! Game off! Car! Game on! I don't know, I think people think I'm an asshole and that I'm a dick and that I'm a big mouth and I think I'm a tough guy and I'm a troublemaker and all this shit. Well, rightfully so in some points, but most it's the situation that provides me to be as such. So like, most people say I'm a nice guy. People who are actually my friends say I'm a nice guy. I can be a bit rude and vulgar at times, but I like, I'm just honest. And I just say whatever comes to the top of my head. So I think people are just afraid of what's gonna come in my mouth, to be honest. Coming into Honest Heads, doing some real hardcore shopping. It's a cereal dispenser for cows and or sheep of some kind. The look how old that looks. It's in the 70s. All brand make it poop place. See your rolling pins. Oh boy. Jesus Christ. It's on fire. God. Are you seeing that? <laughs> like, what's the for this guy? There's upside, there's upside down fox and rabbit on it, and a fucking like downer deer. That's literally what happened when uh, when Rudolph got his nose caught on fire finally. <laughs> Idiot. What a dumbass. Walk through our heads. Seeing shit like this, camel visors, dirty ass baseball tees. I decided to give you guys a real lesson on how to be hardcore. I consider myself the hardcore guru of HXC, Mosh Town, fighting. First off, snapback. You gotta have a snapback. If you wanna be hardcore, you gotta have a snapback. Preferably of a team you have no affiliation with. That's just what kids do. You gotta wear it backwards like this. So it goes like this. So when you do this, you look tough. Second, band tees. You gotta have a band tees, guys. I see all these hardcore kids walking around half assing it. Band tees are a must. Second, you want army shorts. Mine are a bit dirty. Um, you probably wanna get your army shorts from uh, Army Surplus. I get mine from American Eagle, cause I'm cheap. Last but not least, the shoes. Your mosh, your mosh partners, your mosh partners. You need these to be comfortable. You need them to work for you. I personally go all out, buy the authentic bands for you cheap ass hardcore mofos. Go to Skechers. You got them for 12 bucks. If you wanna be hardcore, you need camo, whatever the fuck kind of shirt this is with a cow on it. A one-eyed cow. That means tough. My boy AJ Rogers, baseball extraordinaire. He's a bit stiff nowadays. Has an, uh, got some giant elephants over here. Don't ride this. It's fragile. Watch out for the baby carriage. Now here's what we got. We have these uh, Asian, Asian dragon lions. Big dragon lions, big tongues. You know what that was for? Back in the day, this is this is history. Back in the day, the Asian geishas would be able to lift these up and sit on these tongues, up and down, like that. That's not a penis, like I'm not jacking it off, I'm showing you how the girls did it. This is the more hybrid model here, because it has a bigger nose, a more uh, whole stimulation of the uh, clitori. Underwear. Now this piece right here, this is me, 
you guys don't know it, uh, back in the day, holding a beautiful woman, grabbing boobies. She's trying to get away from me, but I was like, fuck no, we're doing this now. We're doing it my way. Boom, I like the snack. Okay. Second rule about being hardcore. Honest heads, 10 and 9 haircuts. You want to get a haircut? You come down his heads. Between the film of William and Kanye, we get kind of thirsty. It's time to refresh. What do you want? Ooh, let's, uh, let's get a Sprite. Let's get some Sprite. I found this flashlight lightsaber. We're gonna buy this for $2.99 because we win with Donnie. Fuck off. Red. Darth Maul, Darth Vader, Count Dooku. Learn your facts. Be a nerd. All right, women, here's a lesson. You really wanna know if your man's cheated on you? You know you had sex with him Wednesday. Come over to his house on Saturday with a black leg, shed his drawers, his bed, if there's any cum stains, he's pounding that other pussy. If you know you're responsible and you kill your fish because you won't feed them, fake fish aquariums. Two different styles. <laughs> Do not tusk. Touch, ask for stock. This is if you want to be rich and fancy. It's $23.99. Of course it's more expensive. Go with the little guys. Fish will never die. Walking by, needed something for my time till he needs. Hardcore shot clock. Razor blade, telling time. What more do you need to be HXC? Busted, honest Eds. You say you're honest? This is a sham I want to be. I personally own a sham myself. Watch it. I personally own. Shut up. I personally own a sham myself. This is fing degrading. You know what pisses me off? Fing assholes. Turning dogs into beds. What kind of dog wants to sleep in another dog? That's just fing wrong. So, talking about hardcore, talking about dogs. First of all, hardcore bedding, must need for hardcore dog. Second, this, not f***ing hardcore. This is motherfucking hardcore. Get the dog, ah, yes! Non-dead raccoons, little dogs like to nibble on shit. Hardcore drop shame. So when dogs get into dog fights, choke it out. Get my World of Warcraft fix. It's a fake computer, dumbass. This is a segment of Winning with Ghani that we like to call Winning with Ghani Movies. Movies that we watch that we think you guys should view. Top three this week. The Tripper, stupid. Air Guitar Nation, idiot. Bob Funk, guy's got game. Walking through Honest Heads. Honest said, I'm starting to f***ing hate you, man. You're a piece of shit liar. What the f***? is this? An Xbox Wii? A MiiWi? The Japanese didn't even make this. You made this in your garage. This is a piece of shit. <sighs> Busted. Just kidding. We don't push legal boundaries on Winnie with Ganyu. Hardcore BB's playing high and seek. This BB's a badass. This way you lucky people ass. I'm walking around on set for three hours and lost. Ed saves you money, hardcore. I thought this was a pogo. It's actually an air pump. When I pushed it down, air went all over my dick. It was nice. Jones, people who don't want to drink alcohol, but still look cool. We with Gagne. I'm an athlete. Oh. Catch again, bro. No, no. Come on, man. During winning with Gagne, we don't f around. We may not have any axe blades, but I'm still gonna go kill a motherfucker. Winning with Gagne in the city edition. Had a sick day. Honest Ed's fucking awesome. Um, we recently got up the Facebook page, so you guys can go over to me and Dalton's Facebook and uh, like the link to that. Got the YouTube up. YouTube's going good. Subscribe, please. Also, on the Facebook page are me and Dalton's um, personal Facebooks. Just like give us ideas. Like we can't think of that many ideas. I had a hard time thinking of ideas today. I'm fucking hung over. But uh, just give us ideas of what you guys want us to do. Like we said, we'd do anything. But yeah, it's been a great day, guys. Thanks.